Alright guys, pass over your sheets for point review and describe your characters. We'll be starting with you. Make with the character. Well, I'm a devout of Salome, a bonny young goat named William, who is both strong of heart and true of faith. He's barely a boy, but headstrong and ready to take on the world. Psh, goats are the new blue wolves. Cool, cool. Next please. I'm a Falani White Shield from a long and proud line of Adivist warriors. Call me Bark, the Red, last of the blood fur berserkers. Alright big guy, how about you? I'm the bad. Okay, you're a bat. What's your character? I am a bandit. A master of still. The turret that flaps in the night. I am the bat. Alright. Seriously, not in the mood. What's your character's name? I am Vincent. I am the knight. I am the bat. Well, is this a contest or something? This is a serious campaign, and if your characters are built wait a minute. Billy the Kid? F you! Score! I win, suckers! The coursers pulling the Duchess's carriage titter and look about nervously. It's clear that they can sense something terrible. The driver is trying to calm them, but they can sense his uneasiness. There's a strange sound from somewhere in the forest. With a rustling of leaves and a surprised screech from the coursers, the bushes part to reveal a hulking frame crawled from your nightmares. It stands 20 hands tall and half as wide across the shoulders. Its head looks like a raven, but with the body of a giant wolf. A terrible mantle of feathers adorns its crown, back, and shoulders. Oh, it's here! Holy crap, that's a Marigna! This has to be the work of a dark sorcerer, and what I'm willing to bet is in the employ of Count Fauntleroy of Dowers Forth in Woodsenshire. I knew he was eyeing the Duke's lands jealously. This will mean war. I exhaust Flesh Ward on Bark. I'll protect the Duchess. Bark, give him hell. Bat, you, uh, keep doing your thing. I am Justice. I exhaust Frenzy, Intermite, and Battering Charge. Blood, Death, and Vengeance! Okay, that finishes the battle. Does everyone understand their results? I understand that I died, and that's bullshit. You died choking the life out of Funnel Roy's Dark Wizard and Top General simultaneously. That's not bullshit, that's the beginning of a legend. Besides, you're getting knighted posthumously. A promotion that should be unattainable for a pagan and a foreigner. It's still bullshit. <laughs> All right. The surviving members of the party are taken to the Duke's palace where you're doctored, washed, and groomed. As you arrive in the throne room, the palace erupts in great pomp and celebration. The cries of the Duke's serfs rise to almost deafening joy. It takes 20 minutes before the Master of Ceremonies can calm the throng of elated nobles and you're announced. Their balms and ointments are not enough to drown out the smell of a Jacobian banquet that waits beyond the ceremonies. The Duke enters and walks proudly towards the throne. His finery is immaculate, bejeweled and gleaming. The Herald announces his coming with a high and exultant voice. Hail Duke Seth Moore, son of Seth Med, ward of the Cantor Learning Provincials, champion of Salome and protector of the faithful, lord of Walper. Hey, damn it. I'm taking a break. I'm done. You, uh... You didn't want to play Iron Claw today, did you? I wanted to play.